Hey guys, welcome back to King's Outdoor Life, or welcome to King's Outdoor Life, if this is your first time watching one of our videos. Today's subject is concrete. Do you have chalky or dusty concrete? Well, you shouldn't. Your concrete should not be chalky or dusty. Last year, we got a brand new driveway poured. You can see here, we pulled out the old driveway and poured a new one. You can watch King's Outdoor Life video number 166, and you can see when we poured this. Um, if you haven't watched that yet, no worries. I think only 27 people watched it and they were all my family. But anyway, go watch number 166 and you'll see us pour this concrete. And the problem was, let me show you. See all this dusty stuff right here? I don't know how well it's gonna show up in the video. We've already started cleaning this out. We took out the grate, but you can see this dust. And when you, if you scratch the surface, it's got a real chalky, dusty texture to it. So I called my friends at the concrete place and they came out and looked at it. The engineer says, yes, this happens when you finish the concrete with it a little bit too wet. You actually finish that slurry stuff on top before it soaks in. It kind of makes a soft finish on top that'll scrape off and it's never going to cure right he did a hardness test and everything came out okay but he said we needed this stuff right here so if you can see that what he said to spray on there was dayton superior pentra hard densifier this is a liquid densifier that we will spray on with a garden sprayer. So I've got to pressure wash everything off first, not hard. You're gonna barely pressure wash just to get all this stuff off the surface so the densifier will stick to it. And then we'll spray it with a garden sprayer and I'll, I'll show you, stick around. Let me add this. What you see here, you can see how this top layer or finish is wearing off and that's what happens is you don't have a good hard surface on top that finish is coming off and you can see these cracks are full of that dust so anyway we're going to set up the pressure washer just lightly pressure wash off the top layer of dust and then apply the pincher hard with a gallon pump up sprayer So I poured a gallon of the pincher hard into this. I'm gonna pump it up, obviously, and just spray a light coating all over. Come on. And I really don't know how much to put. He just said to coat it well. I got a little wind blowing, I wish. I wish there was, but it's not much. I can I can account for it. So just be sure you cover it well and do the whole thing. All right, so you can see it changes color, makes it look kind of wet. I really don't know for sure how wet to get it. The instructions were minimal at best, but it said if you get too much to spread it with a brush. So I had a couple areas I did that with. But pretty well just try to coat it evenly and i'll wait and come back in a couple of weeks i don't know maybe even a week i could probably tell the difference so anyway i wait a few days week two weeks and do a little follow-up i parked my wife's car across so nobody will pull in here the instructions don't tell how long to wait but i'm gonna give it at least 24 hours all right with the magic of modern editing back in a few days So it has been like two months since I did this. I stay too busy to come back and follow up on these videos. One thing I will tell you to do is be sure you have a good pressure washer. I don't know if you can see, I tried to do it in the, in the morning so that the east sun is hitting this, but there's swirls where the pressure washer nozzle had like one area that was shooting stronger than the rest of it. And it made these swirls and you can see those. So be sure you don't do that. Maybe you can see it here. You can kind of see those swirls there. But I also want you to be able to see, I don't know if you can see the dust here that's collected where the, where the rain washes it down. So I guess my summary on this is it does not solve the problem. Is it better? Yeah, maybe, but this concrete is still dusting really bad. 
I mean, it gets on our shoes. If you walk out here barefooted, that dust gets on your feet, and then you track it in the hardwood, it looks really bad. So I'm really frustrated with the fact that it did this and uh, really disappointed in it and not just, I was hoping this liquid densifier would be the cure-all, but it just, at this point, and again, about two months later, it's still not um, cured. So I don't know if you can see that swirl or not. There was a, a car here the other day and they, they evidently sit there and turned their wheels back and forth and it, it made a little swirl there. So anyway, didn't solve the problem. Is it better? Yes. Is it worth it? Maybe, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it is worth it, but it does not just solve the problem. But anyway, all right. Hey, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.